the funeral is due to be held of Russian opposition politician Boris Nemtsov, who was shot dead in Moscow. The service at Moscow Troy Rogskoy Cemetery will follow the public ceremony at the Andrei Sakharov Rights Center. Mr. Nemtsov, a fierce critic of President Vladimir Putin, was killed on Great Moskvorsky Bridge, near the Kremlin Wall, last Friday night. The Speaker of the Polish Senate said Russia had denied him a visa to attend the funeral. Bogdan Boris which was to have led the Polish delegation to the funeral. The Russian embassy in Warsaw said Mr. Boris which had been denied a visa because he is on the list of Polish officials barred from traveling to Russia, a list drawn up after the EU imposed sanctions on Russia over its involvement in Ukraine. Latvian Emil P. Sandra Kalniet told AFP news agency that she had been refused entry into Russia at Sheremetyevo airport in Moscow. She said she had not been given a reasonable explanation. Earlier this week, the Moscow court rejected a request by prominent Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny to attend the funeral. Late last month, Mr. Navalny was sentenced to 15 days in prison for handing out leaflets to publicize the forthcoming demonstration. Shot four times tens of thousands of people marched through central Moscow on Sunday to honor Mr. Nemtsov, with the opposition claiming that some 50,000 people attended the event. Mr. Nemtsov had been due to lead an opposition march that day but his killing turned the event into a morning rally. Mr. Nemtsov's allies have accused the Kremlin of involvement, but President Vladimir Putin has condemned the murder as vile and provocative knowing to find the killer. Russia's investigative committee said it was looking into a number of possible motives for the murder. They include his opposition to the Ukraine conflict, Islamic extremism, Mr. Nemtsov had Jewish ancestry although he had become Orthodox Christian and an opposition sacrifice of its leader to destabilize the state and undermine the president. Mr. Nemtsov, 55, had been walking home from a restaurant with his Ukrainian girlfriend Anna Durupskot when he was shot four times. M.S. Durupskot, a 23-year-old model, told Russia's independent Dutch television that she had not seen the attacker. I don't know where he came from, but he was behind, she said. I turned round and all I saw was a light-colored car. I saw neither the brand nor the license plate of the car that was driving away. The Federal Protective Service, in charge of presidential security, said its surveillance cameras did not record the shooting because they were pointed towards the Kremlin. M.S. Durupskot has been allowed to return to Ukraine from Russia after being questioned by police.